lovelies, it's Shelby, welcome back to my channel, and sorry, this video is going to be kind of spastic, I'm going to be kind of scatterbrained, um, I plan on this video being relatively short, um, you're going to have to forgive me, um, my lack of uploads until... I get more okay. I am recently going through a breakup and that is all I'm saying on that because I don't feel like crying. Put makeup on. Anyway. Um, today I am doing a video and I did a video similar. Mm. No, I haven't. I've mentioned my um, allergy before in previous videos. Um, and I did show my EpiPens, but it was the video wasn't very good. The quality was really bad. It was dark. It was, anyway. Um, but yeah, that's what this video is. It's about my um, latex um, allergy. So, no. Anyway, um, that's what this video is. It's gonna, um, it's going to be about my, um, allergy. So, of my medical problems, and I do count this as a medical problem, it's actually a pretty significant medical problem, um, because it's life-threatening, um, and I don't mean, like, when, like, I have an allergy and I know that's a relatively common thing, which up until I actually did like research about it, my specific allergy, I thought mine was like super common. Nope. Less than 1% of people actually have a legit allergy like mine. So what I'm allergic to, and yes, I can almost predict the comments, some of them anyway, because... I've heard all the jokes, I've heard, you know, I, I, I'm very aware what crosses people's mind when I say what my allergy is to, but I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I have an anaphylactic allergy to latex. Okay. Now let's be adults. Um, and not everyone who's allergic to latex has this type of allergy. Um, um, mine definitely didn't start like this. It kind of grew into what it is. It wasn't always this severe. It wasn't always this bad, but, um, yeah, I have an anaphylactic allergy to latex. What that means is that if it gets, if latex gets anywhere near my mouth or if it gets in my bloodstream in any way, shape, or form, I can go into something called anaphylactic shock and die. Because of that, I have to be extremely careful of, you know, I just have to be careful and I have to carry EpiPens. So, what is latex? A lot of people don't really know what latex is. What latex is, is it's like rubber, essentially. And it is in a hell of a lot of things. So, um, here's a really good example, actually. Um, one of the things that latex is very, very, very commonly in are band-aids. It is extremely difficult for me to find band-aids that are latex-free. So, that's how I found it initially whenever I was, I don't know, maybe around the age of 12. I scraped my knee or something, and we had these, um, like, active band-aids that were, like, really stretchy, really flexible, so that they wouldn't come off as easy. Well, they're made with latex. Put them on, my, uh, like, a few minutes or an hour later, my skin was really, really, really red, and I don't have any pictures of a latex allergy because I haven't had one in a while because I am so careful because they are extremely painful. 
um, but my skin gets really, 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 really red. It itches really, really bad. It stings, it burns, and the more you itch it, the more it burns. It's just, it's, it's not fun. But that's like a topical reaction, <clears throat> which is what, what happens if it comes into contact with my skin. Um, but it's in band-aids, it's in pull floaties, um, it's in some makeup, so a lot of lash glue um, actually has latex in it. Now, one of the most popular lash glue brands is uh, Duo Lash Glue, and that has latex in it. Like I said, most um, lash glue does have latex in it, and that would be extremely unfortunate because it's near my eye. Like, that would be awful. But this is the only lash glue... Let's see. This is the only lash glue that I have found that is latex free. It's um it's by Kiss and it's lash strip adhesive. Um yeah, latex free. So, see, it looks like this. Um another thing that is that I come across specifically me is because I do special effects makeup, one of the a very, very common ingredient in special effects makeup is liquid latex, which is like my nightmare. Um, obviously I can't use liquid latex. Oh, that's another thing. Gloves are made of latex. So I have to be extreme, even though it says um, severe latex allergy in my um, files, like my medical files, I always make it a point to say, hey, I'm allergic to latex. Like when they're like, oh, are you allergic to anything? I'm like, just latex. Because there are so many times where I would be at the doctor and they, and I wouldn't mention that I'm allergic to latex because I know it says it in my, like, file, and they use latex gloves on me. And like immediately when they touch my arm, it starts to like burn and itch. And I'm like, dude, read. So... I always say that, um, especially if I'm at the dentist. I hate the dentist anyway, but when I go to the dentist, I'm always like, do not use latex gloves in my mouth. I will die. Um, that's, that's what I mean by if it gets anywhere near my mouth, if it gets in my mouth, it can make my throat swell shut. And that's when I would need to use my EpiPen. <clears throat> but latex is in a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to think. Off the top of my head, I can't really think of anything else, but um, something that's actually really interesting is for the longest time, um, for the longest time, I can't, or I cannot eat um, bananas, avocados, honeydew melon, and cantaloupe. Cannot eat those because the best way I can describe it is when you don't know that you have a cut on your hand and then you put Germix on. That feeling is how when I eat any of those things makes the inside of my mouth feel. And I've always been like, you know, that's just that's really weird. And I actually was mentioning it at one of my doctor's appointments and he was like, oh, well, are you allergic to latex? And I was like, actually, yeah, I am. And I can't remember what he said, but there's something... And like the chemical makeup of those things, where if you're allergic to latex, you don't have like a allergic reaction to those things necessarily, but they do cause discomfort and pain and stuff like that in your mouth if you eat them. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's really it. But um, I was going to show you my EpiPens. So I always carry my purse with me because, you know, I have pain pills and not pain pills. I have medicine in there that I take like in case of emergencies. I have like emergency headache medicine and different things like that. Um, Anti-nausea medicine. Anyway, all that stuff. But I also carry my um, EpiPen and my tester pen with me because if I'm with anyone for a extended amount of time, I always make sure to be like, hey, <clears throat> if at any point for some reason I have like and, and I go into anaphylactic shock, here's what you have to do. So I'm gonna show you. Here is my EpiPen, here's the tester. Um, set that there. Here's the actual pen. I have two of them. This one I carry with me in my purse. 
at all times and the other one is in a drawer in my bathroom but here it is it's in its little like green case you do this ta-da ta-da um you would i'm not gonna do it because it would ruin it but i am gonna show you on the tester so this is the actual pen this is the tester um you would oh okay you'd pull this out and then here let me hold on and you would pull this out see it comes out like that and then you would inject it on the outer part of like the thigh you can do it through clothes or you can just do it like on bare skin but after you pull this off the top you get it and you stab it in like that leave it for five seconds ta-da so yeah <clears throat> that's really all that i have for you guys today um that's what you do in case of an anaphylactic shock and then, of course, you would still need to go to the emergency room afterwards to get checked out. Because what this is, is it's epinephrine. So it's, called, it's an EpiPen, epinephrine. Um, yeah. That's what this is. There's a needle in here. All that jazz. There's even instructions on here. But, yeah. So... That's it. That's all that I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This video will be in a playlist along with um, my other videos where I explain my medical conditions. So, yeah. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like. Um, comment down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to become a part of my lovely family here on YouTube. Thank you guys and I love you so much. Bye.